Right, just a quick bit here about timber and beetle. Uh, we've got an outside, quite a complicated building actually, but it's an outside wall we're looking at there. And this is an addition. Now, we have here a, a beam, and you can see that is oak. And you've got sapwood on the outside. This is the sapwood we're looking at with beetle. And you'll see that they're only in the sapwood on the outside and they don't go through to the oak in the middle. So that's a very good example of a piece of oak with sapwood on the outside that's been attacked by a beetle. And those beetles were probably in there when the tree was felled. Um, and then the beam was put in place and dried out and away they went. Now by contrast, what we've got is part of a later timbering that's been let in here for a doorway it's still very old but where it's been cut through you can see the the grain of it is much finer it's got a bit of a flat to it and that actually is elm and you can see that the beetle are right through the, the timber and that's very typical for elm you will get beetle all the way through this is you've got uh, lighter coloured sapwood on the outsides and then in the middle is a heartwood but it's still got loads of beetle in it and that's very very typical for um, uh, for elm and look up in the attic area there's just a little bit that we can show you up here. Um, this is an elm beam, and I, what I'm trying to show people here is the the fineness of the grain. And I think you can see there's a fine fleck to the grain. It's got a very, very fine, uh, almost sort of silvery fleck to it. Uh, if I just move around. You'll see, especially when you get to a knot, you'll see this fleck to the grain. That's very typical for elm. Now then, so we've got an elm beam, but what we've also got above it is an oak beam. And if you look at that oak, you'll see much coarser grain up there, very coarse. And again, you've got beetle on the outside on the sapwood. And you can see here, it's almost like a round pole. And the beetle are just underneath the bark on that round pole. And you'll see all the little beetle holes. These were under the bark when the tree was felled. And they left fairly quickly afterwards. And then the heartwood, that bit there, no beetle, perfectly okay. And then we, we've got this elm beam, which is beautiful. Uh, what else have we got up here? Another piece of elm across here. So the big purlins are both elm. And then the rafters are oak. And again, you can see this very coarse graining compared to the, the beam you just looked at. And again, on the outside, that's the sapwood. And you can see you've got beetle just in the lighter coloured sapwood. And that's it. There's no beetle in the in the heartwood in the middle there. It's only in the sapwood. Okay. Uh, that's very typical for a beetle. So when Mr. Timber and Damp Man or Mr. RICS Surveyor comes along and tells you that you've got major problems with beetle or anything, uh, um, you can now tell him where to go because you know that it's either oak or it's elm and you know the difference between oak and elm. I'm just trying to find here a few more examples. Um, I mean, you can see over the top of that beam there, um, where the joint is, where the collar tie has been, uh, you can see there's no beetle anywhere in there. That's fine. And then if you look on the outside, you can see slightly lighter timber on the, on the shoulder of it. And there's a few, if you look carefully, if it's gonna focus for me you will see 
um, I think a few beetle, yeah, there you go. Just under the bark, and that, that's showing you the lighter coloured timber, which has got a bit of beetle in. But the middle bit is fine, there's nothing in it. So there you go, that's a, a little bit on the beetle. And you can see, again, these are oak. Uh, and you can see this, this piece of timber here is oak. That's the heartwood. And then this is where the, the soft white sapwood, and you can see it trails off there because they cut out of the sapwood at that point. And the sapwood's a bit thick on that little section there, you can see it where it's white. And that's been eaten away by beetle. But the actual the middle of the timber is fine, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, and there's another piece of elm here. And again, very typical. Um, you can see the the much finer grain of the of the elm, and you can see also that right in the middle of the timber there are beetle holes. Uh, it goes all the way through that timber. There's beetle, whether it be in the sapwood or the um, heartwood. Whereas you look back to the oak, and again here you can see on this collar tie, this brace, the outside of the timber has got beetle in it. The inside of the beetle, uh, sorry, the inside of the timber, that's oak. No beetle at all. And you can see the the mortise here, and that mortise has on either side of it. I think you can see some dowel holes. There's one, another one there, another one there. So those dowel holes are the the top uh, of the the door panels. Those were where the staves went to make the, the door panel. So this was originally an outside wall uh, which had a panel in it and you can see more uh, more stave holes there. There's one, two and another one there. So this was a woven panel and what we're actually looking at is the external wall. But again, uh, you know, being critical about it, very little beetle if anything in the middle and then you've got the outside which is the sapwood lighter timber with beetle holes in it. Again, nothing wrong with this piece of timber, it's fine. And these beetle would have left 400 years ago. So any wally that tells you that you need to treat this timber, uh, tell them to take a running jump. And again, if you look, I'll just change over, if you look at this, this is the elm beam, uh, and you will see that actually, if you really look closely, I think you can see there's a few holes there the beetle holes and they're in the middle of uh, the timber you can just see if you really look carefully there's little holes right the way through it not very many just odd ones but they're in the heartwood and that is the difference between oak and elm so if you've got an elm beam you tend to get um, holes right through it if you've got an oak beam you won't and actually it's very similar um, whether it's elm or, or chestnut. Sometimes you get a chestnut beam and the beetle will go right through chestnut as well. So there you go.